What's up, fam? Welcome back to my channel. This your boy Chris, and you are now locked in to cruising with Chris. So in the last video, I gave y'all a review of my 2015 Mustang GT. So on this video, what I'm gonna do is, as I promised, I'm gonna do the top five things that I love about my car. Obviously, on the last video, I broke it down um, all around from the outside, the inside, the motor, everything like that. But on this video, I'm gonna give you what I like the most about my car, the top five things. So like I said, we're gonna start off with the body. So obviously on the sixth generation, they changed the body on it and I love it. Um, it just looks like a fast car when you look at it. Um, the From the headlights to the bumper, the tail lights, how they changed them. Um, it, it look, it's got an old school feel with a new school feel to it at the same time. Uh, so I love what they did with the body. I do love the fog lights on the bottom. Uh, that's a nice little touch to it. I do wish they went back to the fog lights and the grill. In the first video, I said, you know, you pretty much can customize a lot on the car. That's something that can be added later. They just did a really good job with the body overall. I, I don't want to harp it too long on it, but at the end of the day, it looks really good. Forge, y'all did a really good job with the body on this car. And yeah, one of my favorite looking Mustangs outside of, you know, the old school Mustangs. This probably is one of my favorite ones outside of, well, I take that back. My favorite body style probably would be the, the 2000 to 2004 body styles, but this coming in a really, really close second place for me. So the number two thing that I love about my car, it's kind of leading from the first thing. I love the fact that Ford has a bunch of aftermarket parts for this car. You can customize every single part of the car. So from the bumpers, to the lights, anything on the outside of the body, obviously you can change the lower balance, the rear diffusers, you can change the fall lights. There's so much you can change on the outside of the car. And when you get into the interior, it's the same. I can change the dash, I can change my steering wheel, I can change the seats if I want, I can change the trimming. Like I said, the aftermarket availability of the aftermarket, what's the word I'm looking for? The aftermarket, what is the word I'm looking for? I guess I should say the aftermarket market is is huge with this car. Uh, Y'all know what I'm getting at. It's just, you know, it's so many different sites, so many different companies. Obviously you got your American Muscles and stuff like that out there, but there's so many other uh, companies that you can go with to get different parts, different upgrades, different mods and stuff like that. And that's not even touching the under the motor, uh, speed mods, power mods, suspension mods, stuff like that. You can express yourself to your car, but it not be so weird. Which leads me to number three. My third favorite thing about this car is the interior. With the interior on this car, it makes you, it gives you that luxury coupe type feel. Um, and I do like that, you know, that you got the luxury side to it, but up under the motor, up under the car, you do still have that true American muscle feel to it. So um, the interior, like I said, as far as the technology, um, going back to number two, with the mods, you can have to even upgrade the technology in the car from where it is now. The feel of the seats, um, they look good, uh, they feel good when you're driving. Uh, the small little touches they did with like the chrome pieces, the dashboard, like I said, you can change that as well, or even as it is stock, it looks just really, really good. And so, uh, yeah, I don't wanna harp it too long on that, but like I said, the interior to me is one of the top features of this car. Overall, nothing bad I can say about the interior. I love the interior, the, the, the heated, the cool seats is a really good feel, especially right now with it being super duper hot. Like, I'm in the shade right now, uh, but it's been a hot day today. Uh, it's been hot periods. Those air conditioned seats, they come in handy so much. So, uh, yeah, that's that. The number four thing that I love about my car is the fact that I can rev it to 7,000 RPMs. I heard about it a lot before I bought this car, but Obviously, you don't really understand it until you have it, until you drive it. And when I'm really getting into it like that, um, I can truly say like, it ain't nothing like it. You know, just hearing that motor just scream. I can I can only imagine if you had some type of, you know, supercharger or something on the car, just to hear it get up that high, it's kind of crazy. So uh, I really do rock with the fact that they did that. I don't know what made them do it. Um, I, I guess it was them trying to appeal, you know, to the European car market to kind of make, uh, give it a little bit more appeal over there in Europe. Um, I don't know. I don't know what made them do it, but I'm glad they did. I kind of catch myself when I'm on the highway a lot, just, you know, I may be cruising, you know, fifth or sixth, 
and just dropping it down just because I love the fact that you can just take it all the way to 7,000, bust it down to another gear and do it again. So um, 7,000 RPM, man, y'all did y'all thing with that. Number five, the number five thing that I love about my 2015 Mustang GT Premium is the independent rear suspension. I can't say enough about that. Yeah, like I said, I do love the power of the 7,000 RPMs. I do love that. But being able to handle the power that's in this car a lot better than what you could on like past Mustangs. I mean, y'all, you, you can you can type in search right now on YouTube and see how many wrecks is on YouTube with people driving Mustangs. Um, it's bad, you know, they really, <laughs> have not been known for that as far as the handling and suspension for a long time at least stop um but now with the independent independent rear suspension with that change to it you can tell it out the gate it's totally different i remember when i first drove off the lot with this car um just coming out of the driveway from the dealership you know making my left turn out the dealership i was like okay i feel the difference then i started hitting turns going there i ain't gonna say a super high rate of speed because i didn't really trust it yet but actually going, you know, into speeds that I wasn't used to going to. Like, let's say I hit the curve at 20, 25 miles an hour and not really breaking like that. That's not something you normally have done in a, in a Mustang in the past, but you can do it in this car. And, uh, you know, taking turns when you're on the highway, taking ramps, going at a high rate of speed. You don't, once you get used to it, you don't really fear going into turns and, turns and curves. And I don't even have the performance pack on this car. This is just the, I don't want to say base premium, but I mean it don't have the, it don't have a track pack or the performance pack on it. So I don't have the strut braces, I don't have the strut towers or whatever on this one. I'm gonna add that later probably. But even without that, you know, I don't man, it's crazy. It, the car sits you down, you don't have a lot of body roll on the inside. So imagine if you had the track pack or the performance pack, how it feels in this car. I can only imagine I can't wait. And that boy just got me. <laughs> I can only imagine um, how that's going to feel once I do that mod to my car. Um, but yeah, the independent rear suspension, thank you for for that. Keep that in every single Mustang y'all do from here on out. Don't take that away. In any other um, sports car, muscle car um, company, I suggest y'all add that because that one little touch is it's worth whatever amount of money that it costs to add it in there, I'll be honest. I, I will pay that over again uh, in a different car different muscle car that I will purchase um, if that option is on there or if, you know if that's whatever I don't even understand what I'm trying to say but y'all know what I'm trying to say so it is what it is we all don't want to call it so um, that's my five things I love about my car the most so I will give y'all a bonus uh, number six thing that I love about my car and it's really simple it's the color um, I've never done a color outside of black or like silver or gray. I'm just, even with the way I dress, I really like, you know, those monotone colors. That's just me, that's my personality. The competition orange, when I first saw it, I'm like, dang, like that, that look pretty nice. And um, I'm surprised I actually bought it. I'm surprised I pulled the trigger on it. Uh, I've never been into the reds. I've never been into the yellow, stuff like that. Competition orange is a dope color. Uh, I've got a lot of compliments on. I've got a lot. <laughs> I've got a lot of compliments on the color of the car. Um, obviously, like I told y'all in the first video, I'm probably gonna wrap it. No, it's not even a probably. I am gonna wrap it. Um, but to have this color on the car for now, uh, for that to be the base color of it, uh, I'm glad I picked it. Uh, when it's clean, it looks real good. When it's dirty, you don't really notice the dirt a lot because it's so bright. And so those are the five slash six slash five plus a bonus of uh, things that I love about my car. Y'all be on the lookout for more content coming soon. I'm pushing these videos out as much as I can. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, comment, share, all that good stuff. Um, because here soon, in the next few weeks, I'm going to go ahead and start telling y'all now, I will be doing giveaways on this channel. But for me to do that, I need y'all to get this. I need y'all to do y'all job. I need y'all to like, share, comment, and subscribe. So make sure y'all do that. Stay locked in. Turn your post notifications on for all new content coming from this channel. Like I said, I got so much planned for y'all. Um, I can't wait to get into the build of the car as far as the outside and the inside. So y'all stay tuned for that. And uh, yeah, like I said, this your boy Chris. Y'all stay locked in. Y'all stay cruising with your boy. And I'll catch y'all later. All right.
Y'all ready? You right there. You watching the video right now. All right, I'm hot. All right, y'all. Welcome back to my channel. No. So on the last video, y'all. Um, you show right. Number two thing. So that, so that first, my, my number. What am I trying to say? It's features of this car. If you're looking for, like I said, uh, uh, What the f is that? Well, these outtakes gonna be funny. Bugs and birds and shit. Actually, insert it. I don't have to say that. That's gonna be a clip in there. Gotta stop saying that. Saying what you about to do. Like, stop. Why do I keep doing that? Alright, y'all, I'm gonna walk around to the back of the car. Alright, y'all, I'm gonna step on the inside of the car. Alright, y'all, I'm gonna lock the car. Stop, bro. 